In this video, we will demonstrate how to set units and to build and define a model of a piping system. With a fresh installation, AFT Fathom uses both English and metric unit systems with English units as the defaults. This can easily be changed from the user options in the tools menu. The preferred unit section is where you can change your unit system. There are several options that allow you flexibility to work with the unit system that you are most comfortable with. Clicking any of the units in the preferred unit section displays a drop down menu where you can change the preferred unit for that parameter. To work with your new desired unit system and preferred units with other model files, click save as new user defaults before clicking save and close. The grid can be enabled from the arrange menu. In addition to enabling the grid, you can also choose from 2D or isometric pipe drawing modes. The workspace is the drag and drop canvas interface that you will build the model of your piping system on. You will use a combination of several of the icons in the toolbox on the left to build your model. When you hover over any of these icons, a tooltip will be displayed to identify what that object is. Also, pay close attention to the useful tips that appear lower in the toolbox. A junction is a general term when used for any toolbox component that is not an annotation or pipe drawing tool. This model will use two reservoir junctions and one valve junction. Connecting junctions with pipes influences flow, pressure, and optionally, temperature distribution through the pipe network. Double-click the pipe drawing tool to draw multiple pipes. Hit the escape button to turn off the pipe drawing tool when you're done. Some junctions may have one or multiple pipes connected depending on the junction and how it is used. All pipes require a junction connected on each end of the pipe. Time to define the input data. Click Define All Pipes and Junctions in the checklist to guide you in defining input. As a reminder, follow the blue highlighting to define the minimum required input. By default, AFT Fathom will remember the most recently used pipe material, nominal size, and type, saving you some clicks. Hold the right mouse button down on a pipe or junction to display its input information. Another way to display input is to click the Properties tab in the Quick Access panel. If output data is available, it will be displayed in the Properties tab and right mouse inspection windows as well. The Model Data window provides another useful way to view input data in tabular format. The Model Data window has three sections which can be resized, collapsed, or expanded accordingly. The general section displays basic information like the number of pipes and junctions in the model, solution control tolerances, fluid properties, etc. 
not all pipe and junction parameters are shown by default. Notice how the secondary toolbar changed when switching to the model data window. The first button in the model data toolbar is the model data control which allows further customization of the displayed pipe and junction input parameters. There is a lot you can customize in the model data control window and changing the displayed pipe and junction parameters is just one of the things you can modify. We have all green check marks and a green status light and are now ready to run the model. Clicking the green arrow on the main toolbar will run the model so you can view results. This completes the quick start video tutorial series on setting units, building and defining a model. Thanks for listening and feel free to refer to the other topics in our AFT Fathom quick start video tutorial series.